Hey, Kevin, what's that cool thing? Well, that's a pry bar. And this is a time saver. And this is a back saver. It's good for breaking open walnuts, too. But <laughs> the best thing this is for is mechanical advantage. So mechanical advantage is just basically a work multiplier, if you will. If you put X number of pounds of force into something, some kind of mechanical advantage is going to double that, triple that, quadruple that. You know, it's going to make whatever effort you put out that much more efficient on the other end. Here's my big work table. This is my big workbench. This is a one inch piece of plate steel up here. This is all made out of steel and good God, it's got a bunch of stuff piled up on the bottom of it. You think I can pick that thing up? Think I can move that table by hand? Yeah, can't even come close. But come down here on the floor. Let me show you where mechanical advantage comes into play. So to make a lever work better, you need a fulcrum. You need some place for that lever to pivot on. And if you measure from the center of this to here, the center of this to there, and do all the fancy math, that can give you how much mechanical advantage you get by where you put your fulcrum. Does it really make that much of a difference? Well, sure. Let's take this piece of uh, half inch by three quarter inch, or half inch by one inch piece of solid bar stock. And let's move my fulcrum way out here by the handle. Put this end of the pry bar right there underneath the leg. I don't care how much you lean on that, you can barely get that table to move at all. But if I move that fulcrum closer, and now I can pick up the whole leg of the table, I can pick up you know, a quarter of this table with just my body weight. You know, I'm not straining to do it. And that's, I guess you could call that linear motion because of your lever and how your fulcrum works and you push here and it picks up over there. What about rotary motion? Oh look, here's another mechanical advantage right here. These pulleys. The more pulleys you add, both here and up at the top of the block and tackle, give you more of a mechanical advantage. You need less weight pulling on the rope to pick up more weight at the end of the hook. The only bad side to this is the more pulleys you put, the more loops around the rope has to go, the more rope you need. So it's only, I don't know, about nine foot to the ceiling right here, but I need about 25 feet worth of rope to be able to take this hook and put it all the way to the ground. And there's a different form of mechanical advantage right here. So this is a stock bender. Here's where your pivot is. And this roller right here and this little square are where the stock gets put in and that's how you bend stock. But what happens if you're using something, you're trying to bend something that might be a little bit over the rated specification of the machine? You? <laughs> yeah, me, like railroad spikes. This is a railroad spike. It is 5 eighths by 5 eighths steel. And if you just put it in here in between the two rollers and the pivot and just try to lean on that handle, I haven't got enough lead in my pocket to make it bend. But I got a lever in my pocket. There's a little extra length on the handle. And if you look at our railroad spike, it's pretty easy to bend. You know, me, that helps me work better, helps me work a little bit smarter. Try to save the back, you know, try to save the arms. So mechanical advantage, it's all around you really. Just like on a bicycle, like on a 10 speed or a 12 speed or whatever, with all the different gears. That's mechanical advantage. So Terry, I hope that answers your question. I do appreciate you all watching. And don't forget to come to my website, see what's going on out there. See you next time. I haven't got enough lead in my pocket to make it bend, but I got a lever in my pocket. That's a big pocket. That's a big, deep pocket. <laughs>